May, may I put it this way? Many people watching you tonight, watching you talking to us now, many people in Britain, some of them cold, some of them quite poor, will be asking themselves what it is that you and certainly some of your Arab counterparts, sheikhs and rulers and governments, have against them. Are you... Uh, does it in any way serve your interests well, why, to, why, to, why? To, to make the British economy suffer? Why, why against? First of all, it's not British economy. If you want to say anything, it should be the world economy. And this is not against, we are just defending our chips. Uh, because for such a long time, we have just been, uh, well, exploited, I can't say that. And uh, why don't you say that when uh, the price of uh, wheat was augmented by 300%, they had something against us. We had to buy it, or soya bean, or steel products, or petrochemical products, which in some cases have augmented by 30 times. So did you have anything against us when you augmented those prices? Or what I buy from you, even weapons, the price that you are charging today is not what you were charging two months ago. It's increasing. Have you something against us? Have you anything in principle against the system in Britain and other Western countries? Not really against, but I must tell you my opinion. If you continue this way, a permissive, undisciplined society, you are going to blow up. And uh, in matter of fact... How do you mean blow up? I'm not quite clear what you mean by that. Well, you will go bankrupt. Uh, you work not enough, try to get too much money for the little work that you are putting up, and this cannot continue. It can continue for a few months, maybe one or two years but not forever. You're not going to help us not to go bankrupt if you put the rise of oil in here. I won't be a good friend, not really. But uh, I was trying to defend my own interests. But I think at the same time, it is serving this cause to, to maybe...